Trenton head coach Daryl Young joins us here on WBCB1490.com. Coach, thanks so much for having us over for another oh, training wow. camp report and excited for another great season of Tornadoes basketball. Just tell us what you expect this year. Um, this year, going to be young. Mm -hmm. uh, my uh, guy with the most experience is um, Jair Brown, and he's a uh, junior this mm -hmm. year. This is third year of varsity, second year as a starter. So, you know, guys, we're going to be young. And um, got the newcomer in, uh, transfer from Nottingham, Jave Pearson. Look like, looks, like, looks like he's going to be our point guard this year. And um, it's gonna, we're going to go as he goes. Mm -hmm. Jave and Tig, which is Jair, are the guys that's going. We're going to go as they go. And, and it all starts on the defensive end. If these guys can get the pressure going and, and can get the other guys to follow, follow suit with them, talking on defense, playing 94 feet of defense, aggressive on defense, on offense, looking to push the ball every time. We, we'd be pretty good, but yeah. Well, what you were saying, you know, you love to play 94 feet. You 94 love to feet. play with that pace and energy and everything yes. like that. And that's really one of the signatures here of Trenton basketball is your ability to kind of have, de uh, have depth, yes. bring those young players up, and just kind of run other teams into the ground. Yeah, and that's, that's the big thing right there. If these guys can buy into – the tradition of trying high basketball, 94 feet of pressure, running and gunning on offense, wearing teams down, we are at our best. Not a great half-court team. And that's why I keep preaching to my young men now, and we've been having a problem with that this year thus far in practice, is getting these guys to be able to play at the pace. Mm -hmm. they, they, it, it's coming along, but I think you'll see more of these guys more acclimated to the way we play come January. Because there's a lot of guys that's just learning. Like I said, Javé, he's a new kid. He's never played this style before. It's all new to him. And then a lot of the young guys from the JV are now on varsity. So the guys are getting, get, they're, they're getting it. They're getting it. It's going to be fine. We'll be fine. It's a wide open CBC this year as wide well. Open. So it might not be the worst year to have a young team because they're going to be able to get some experience in games like yeah. this. Uh, like I'm saying, I'm not the only one that's young. We all lost a lot. We had mm -hmm. eight seniors last year. I think um, ND lost some important seniors last year. Heistown lost some guys. So all around the board, Hopewell lost some guys. Allentown lost a Tristan kid. You know, so we're all going to be young this year. So everybody's going to be looking for that spot at the top. <laughs> Coach, one of the first games we're going to have for you this year is uh, when you take on St. Anthony's of Jersey City here at Rivera Middle School. Talk about that matchup. Oh, man, that's, that's, that, that's history right there. Mm -hmm. That's how it was when I played in the 80s. We always had the big dogs coming in here. You know? So to have St. Anthony's come in here is, is an honor. To have Coach Roddy come in here and come and play. At the, play. Well, it's not the alley, but to come here to Trenton and uh, <laughs> take one of our kids, give our, give our crowds that, that experience of having a top team, one of the top teams in the country come back in and the gym. The kids of this generation hasn't really experienced that. So it's mm -hmm. going to be great for the city, great for the community to have Coach Rody bring his guys in here. And I'm, I'm proud of that. And tell us about how that matchup got set up. That was a, an interesting story how that happened. <laughs> well, last year, um, they invited us to the, um, we were, were maybe two of, two of the public schools in New Jersey that was in that um, tournament they had last year. It was the first year of the um, Skyline, Skyline tournament. Mm -hmm. So Coach invited us up to the Skyline tournament and um, kids played well up there. And later on in the season, they lost a game. They needed a game. Coach called up. It's an early call. And um, we, took on, we took that game, went mm -hmm. up there, played them. Um, and that day, he was telling me that he would um, return the favor and those guys would come down to the alley next year. And like I was telling you earlier, I said, Coach, the alley's not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? But um, for now, the alley is Revere Middle School. <laughs> But um, yeah, it was it was it was great, man, it's for them to return that favor and come here to the city and play us. Coach, thanks so much for a couple of minutes tonight, and best of luck this season. All right, thank you.